Hey up, it's me, Stephen Carroll, the Northern Barrel. I'm back again with a new video for that lot. So, in the last video that I appeared in, uh, my son Carroll ranked up all the Star Wars films uh, because it was Star Wars Day. Yeah, we all bloody sat down and watched all Star Wars films. Yeah, it were a long day and all. Yeah, we watched like Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and then we watched Rogue w uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, then Rogue One, a Star Wars story, followed by Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, and Episode 8, The Last Jedi. And then we've got bloody uh, Star Wars Episode 9 coming out in December, Rise of the Skywalker. Yeah, we had a good day sitting in and that. We were watching Star Wars films. Yeah. And I uh, see that y'all lot were all bloody, like, giving you know, all this to my son, saying he's a spoiled you know, little bastard and that. I can be. God, let me tell you, teenagers, right? They're all right when they're little kids, when, when the babies and the born, but then they grow up to be little bleeders, and then they grow up to be bloody arsy teenagers. <sighs> you know, this time last year, you were actually all sweet and little and innocent and that. You were 12 years old, and then the second the clock struck midnight on his birthday, which was almost a year ago now, you were like going, yay! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, seven. And when he hit to the number one, his voice broke. He lost all like control in his arms, having them all floppy and that. Went all stroppy, and he became a teenager. Yeah, and uh, I was saying to the wife, "Don't worry, it's just a phase that's going to last for the next six years." Yeah. So yeah, but still, though, it's hard work having a teenage kid. You know, I always, I dread to think what I'd be like if it'd been a girl. I don't know what teenage girls are like when they hit puberty and their adolescence, but teenage boys, God. You know, my son Carol, right, he's very really selfish at times. Sometimes he thinks that the whole world revolves around him. And you know, like that, and I say, stop, you know, and, and, and like one time, when we was going out for his birthday, he wanted to go to the zoo. And I was saying, come on, Carol, get up, get up, it's time to go to the zoo. I said, I'll come out when the world stops being a cruel joke. Yeah. I say, oh, come on, it's just your teen years. I will like this once. Your granddad will like this. Everyone goes through it. And, and also, he started to grow some, like, little bits of hair around his nipples and, his, and that. And he's like, say, and at one point, he went to me, hey, Dad, look at this. And show me his downstairs reader. I said, hey, I don't want to see that, son. I said, I've got some hair growing. I went, I don't want to fucking see that. Then he's also, like, at times going, look at the fucking zits on my face. Uh, I just, you know, I think... Uh, he's nearly 14. He's 14 in August. I've got about another... Another... Four or five years of this, at least. Yeah. God, when they get to teenage years, they're just bloody unreasonable. But the body's going through that change and that. I keep, like, I like to say, here, son, let's watch this Netflix programme, Big Mouth, because it's about teenage kids that are reaching their teen years. And like them, like him, their body's going through changes. Anyway, I bloody go on now about my son saying, yeah. Bloody teenagers, eh? Some teenagers, they're a bit mature and well behaved about it and that. Uh, but my lad, Carol, he's probably because he's not got any, you know, he's the early lad. Yeah, he's probably got like that thing, that early child syndrome. You know, where it's like the early child and they think the world revolves around them, you know, and all that. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, still though. At the end of the day, it's all going to be worth it. You know, it's all going to be worth the misery because, you know, in about, probably when he's 18, if we're lucky, he'll move out and we his friend, live with his mates or whatever. I don't bleed in there. I wonder what it'll be like when he gets to his 20s. I'll be in my bloody 40s. I'm 35 now. Uh, anyway, 
I best, uh, you know, I best just be getting on now uh, with things because, uh, yeah, well, I don't know what else I've got to say, but I tell you what, right, bloody teenagers, yeah? Yeah. What else did he do once? Oh, yeah, he once told me to smell his finger. I said, where's that been? I even caught him with the hoover the other day. He said he was cleaning We, you know. Anyway, I said, where'd your finger been? And he says, you know, and I said, you haven't had that in a woman's bloody flu. You're bloody 13. You shouldn't be doing shit like that. Telling him he should, you know, and then at the end he had later admitted to me that he dipped his finger in the fish pie. You know, the fish pie with fish paste and all that that we had for tea that night. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other day I caught him with Uber. He said, Dad, don't disturb me while I'm cleaning my room. It was like putting, like, some, doing that with his neck. Yeah, trying to show off to his mate, saying, I got a girlfriend, I got two girlfriends, I've done all that before. Anyways, yeah, I best be getting off now. I'll see you later. All right, ta-ra. This video goes out to all my carolers who have shown me great support throughout. So I want to say cheers to that lot and you all deserve some recognition too.